welcome to bsc statistics students so in this lesson i explain 95% confidence interval for the population mean mu when sigma is known in a normal population so if i consider the normal population uh, if you want if i want to estimate uh, the population parameter the population mean mu when sigma is known the case is when sigma is known then uh, how to estimate a confidence interval how to estimate uh, uh, population parameter mu the population mean mu uh, in uh, uh, normal population so how to obtain uh, a confidence interval that is it is also another kind of estimation called interval estimation there are two types of estimation two types of estimations one is uh, point estimation another one is interval estimation so now this is the topic uh, belongs to this is the topics uh, topic related to interval estimation in which you we calculate 95% and 99% usually or uh, let it be 1 minus alpha percent confidence coefficient uh, it is going to be considered it is going to be calcul calculated or obtained right so for which uh, i start the uh, calculation of calculating the 95% confidence intervals for mu for the population mean mu so for which i am considering that x1 x2 and so on xn be a random sample of uh, uh, size n which is drawn from a population uh, with normal population with mean mu and uh, variance sigma square this is what the normal population the parameters are mu and sigma square here we consider sigma is known sigma is a known value then we have to uh, estimate the population mean mu we have to estimate the population mean mu in an interval so in some particular interval the here the interval uh, uh, having a 95 percent confidence coefficient that is one minus alpha it is represent confidence coefficient that is if alpha is equal to five percent then one minus alpha is nothing but 95 percent of the confidence coefficient okay so here which we calculate uh, one minus alpha is 95 percent 0 0.95 uh, the 95 percent means uh, it is like 95 percent confidence intervals uh, we are calculating now you see the uh, how to calculate this right uh, uh, for which uh, that i consider it is uh, uh, from this uh, x follows uh, uh, a normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square this is what the distribution of x now if you consider what is the distribution of x bar we know that this is the uh, another kind of discussion that is uh, what is the distribution of x bar it is also following a normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square by n this is what the distribution of x bar so the distribution of x is if the distribution of x is uh, a normal distribution with the parameters mean mu and variance sigma square and then x bar follows a again normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square by n the parameters uh, now if we consider the standard normal variate for x bar because we are calculating uh, for mean so i am considering the mean of the sample so uh, now i consider the standard normal variate for x bar it is nothing but x bar minus its mean mu divided by its standard deviation that is uh, sigma by root n since variance is sigma square by n therefore standard deviation or standard error or standard deviation is sigma by root n which follows a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1 it is known as standard normal variate for x bar uh, like uh, uh, now from the standard normal tables uh, 
फाइव परसेंट लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस एट फाइव परसेंट लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस फाइव परसेंट लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस एंड फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल टेबल्स दट इज एंड फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल टेबल्स फ्रॉम द स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल टेबल्स नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल्स दट इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट वैल्यू इट इज गोइंग टू बी अपटाइंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी अपटाइंड एस दट इज फाइव परसेंट लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस विच मीन्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी कंसिडर्ड एज नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट दट इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव द प्रॉबिलिटी होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉबिलिटी आई एम वॉन्ट टू स्पेसिफाई विच इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ वन माइनस आलफा सिंस इफ आलफा इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव वन माइनस आलफा इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव दिस इज वाट नाइंटी फाइव पर्सेंट कॉन्फिडेंस कॉफिशंट कॉन्फिडेंटली वी से नाइंटी फाइव पर्सेंट कॉन्फिडेंटली आर एबल टू फॉलो नाइंटी फाइव पर्सेंट कॉन्फिडेंटली वी कैन स्पेसिफाई दैट द पैरामीटर वुड लाई इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इंटरवल दट इज वाट द प्रॉबिलिटी इज गोइंग टू बी कंसिडर्ड द नाइंटी फाइव पर्सेंट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव नाइंटी फाइव पर्सेंट ऑफ दी कॉन्फिडेंस कोफिशेंट आर जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव एट करस्पॉन्डिंग टू द प्रॉबिलिटी जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव द एरिया ऑफ द नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफ यू कंसिडर देन दैन इट्स करस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यू ऑफ जेट इज वन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स फॉर नाइंटी फाइव पर्सेंट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव दट इज प्रॉबिलिटी लाइज इन बिटवीन माइनस वन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स लेस दैन जेड लेस दैन वन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव this is what which can which can be obtained from the uh, standard normal tables okay simply now uh, further uh, if you consider this z is sun normal distribution or sun normal variate is uh, x bar minus mu divided by sigma by root n then probability of minus 1.96 less than z is x bar minus mu i'm considering divided by Sigma by root n, which is less than 1.96, is equivalent to be 0.95. Do you understand this? This is this is this statement is obtained from the standard normal tables uh, at uh, alpha level of significance, that is 5% level of significance, which means 0.95 is the confidence coefficient. Uh, by observing the probability in between uh, uh, minus 1.96 to plus 1.96 is equal to 0.95. Uh, this is a significant value. One point nine six is a significant value, right? Uh, from this, uh, if you observe this, uh, this is uh, only the value you have to obtain from the uh, standard normal tables, right? Uh, while continuing this, uh, I am taking sigma by root n, root n left hand side, sigma by root n left hand side. That is probability of minus one point nine six sigma by root n. Is less than x bar minus mu is less than one point nine six into sigma by root n. Do you understand this? Is equal to zero point nine five. Yeah, I have taken sigma by root n left hand side and also that is the equation you have the both sides right hand side. Minus one point nine six into sigma by root n is less than x one point nine six into sigma by root n. Right. Mm, from this. Uh, i also take uh, i want to calculate uh, the confidence intervals uh, for the population parameter mu so x bar also i am taking left hand side and the right hand side that is uh, the two equations here so therefore i am doing like that probability of this less than this and this is less than this so therefore you have to consider two right two particular parts of uh, uh, consideration of equations or inequations whatever you consider One point uh, um, I write here first of all x bar minus x bar. It is plus x bar. If you take in the left hand side minus x bar into uh, minus x bar minus one point nine six into sigma by root n is less than minus mu is less than x bar. If you take in the right hand side that is also minus x bar minus x bar plus one point nine six into sigma by root n. Is equivalent to be zero point nine five. Are you able to understand? Are you able to follow this? Right now, if you consider further, uh, you see here this is minus minus mu. 
so you have to make it plus so therefore multiply the equa entire uh, these entire this two particular results are um, or uh, in equations by minus so therefore uh, if you multiply with minus this becomes plus x bar plus 1.96 sigma by root n it is greater than because uh, um, we are multiplying with minus so therefore it is greater than um, this is plus mu this is greater than this is uh, minus x bar if you multiply with minus plus x bar minus plus it, if you multiply with minus and this is minus 1.96 into sigma by root n is equal is equal to 0 0.95 so uh, while simply we can uh, reverse the inequality right uh, uh, we can easily state that uh, a is greater than b greater than c therefore c greater c less than a b less than a so therefore this is less than x bar minus 1.96 sigma by root 10 is less than mu it is less than x bar plus 1.96 sigma by root 10 it is equivalent to be 0 0.95 therefore the 95 percent confidence intervals is nothing but uh, mu is lies in between you see probability of uh, getting these uh, that is mu lies in between these two limits is 95 percent 0.95 therefore 95 percent confidence uh, uh, intervals confidence intervals interval for uh, uh, mu for the population mean mu in the normal population is uh, um, x bar minus 1.96 sigma by root n and uh, x bar plus 1.96 into sigma by root n do you understand this is what 95 uh, percent confidence intervals uh, for the population mean mu when sigma is known sigma is known when sigma is known so sigma is a known value then only this is the formula it is going to be considered it's going to be calculated it's obtained right therefore 95 percent confidence intervals for the population mean mu is x bar minus 1.96 sigma by root 10 and x bar plus 1.96 sigma by root 10 do you understand this this is what very crucial right so this is what the we can also specify in somewhere in textbook right uh, in some uh, notation it is going to be specified in some textbooks it is specified as x bar plus r minus 1.96 sigma by root n this is also we can specify you can state that uh, the limits confidence limits 95 percent confidence limits are x bar plus r minus 1.96 sigma by root n for the population mean mu when sigma is known this is a very particular case when sigma is known we use the normal distribution we must be keep in our mind that it it, it is uh, of normal distribution uh, we use sigma is when sigma in the case uh, sigma is known hope you understand this is what confidence interval 95 percent confidence interval for the population mean mu when sigma is known in the normal population thank you thank you so much